Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Susie Martin with your national forecast. Today, much of the country, and especially in the nation's midsection, on the dry side with periods of sunshine mixed in with some clouds, but there are a couple of trouble spots. We've got rain threats across the Pacific Northwest, some higher elevation snow, snow for the New England region with rain also across the eastern seaboard, and the potential for some stronger storms across Florida, where we do see a marginal threat for severe weather, just a very hit or miss chance for stronger thunderstorms for the sunshine state, which by the way, still looks a little stormy into the day tomorrow starting on our Easter weekend. We also have some other pockets of storms across the south that we're going to be monitoring for then. So our Saturday severe outlook highlighting a couple of areas where we might be tracking some isolated severe activity for central Florida, including areas like New Orleans and then out into Oklahoma as well. And we are going to continue to see also new disturbance pushing out of the west, which by the way is producing mountain snows. And that system will be working its way into the central tier of the country. Meanwhile, rain and some spotty showers pushing through the eastern seaboard. But this is the next storm that's going to be impacting the central tier of the country, bringing in more snowfall for parts of the Midwest, though not as vigorous as the recent snow events. And then this is eventually going to be swinging a cold front into the Mississippi Valley and Ohio Valleys, and that will be tapping into Gulf of Mexico moisture, which by Easter Sunday will result in stormier conditions, especially as it gets enhanced by a new area of low pressure that's uh, taking more of a southern track. And that could could result in threats of some nastier storms into our Easter Sunday. So there is a severe weather potential that we'll have to monitor. You can see that dip in the jet stream happening there. And there's that moist air fi filling in out ahead of this thing. And that's what's, again, going to be supportive for some storms for Easter Sunday, especially from uh, maybe southwest Kentucky into northern Mississippi. So we'll keep you posted on that. Here's a look at your Easter Sunday forecast. We'll, of course, keep you up to date right here. Thank you so much for joining us.